Hi everyone, it's Amy and I am with my first DT project for Esmeralda over at Pro31 Designs. Hi Esmeralda, thank you so much for inviting me and allowing me to be part of such a fabulous, talented group of ladies. I am truly honored. So let me go ahead and get started because um, I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk. You want to see the bling. Look at this meshy bling. I have never worked with this before. I've seen other people work with it, but I've never worked with it before. And now I've got to tell you, this is one of my all time favorite things. This is fantastic to work with. I freaking love this stuff. Um, you can cut a couple pieces off. It's so easy to work with. I love it. And then when you glue it down, you could even use like your hot glue and put a thin strip and the bling covers it up or you could use glossy accents. It's just absolutely fantastic to work with. I love this stuff. This is my, this will probably be my, my 2012 favorite product that I will be using. Or embellishment, not product, but embellishment that I will use. So let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to share with you guys is um, I joined this and I'm sure you all maybe heard of this little tiny website called Pinterest. Um, anyway, it is very, very addicting. But um, I was on there one day, let me see, pinning, and I came across this desk organizer. And what's great about Pinterest is once you pin it, it has the little website where it originated from. So, um, you know, everybody, the person who originally posted it or had the video or instructions on it, you can be directed right to their website. So anyway, if um, I'm Worker Forever 1, 2, 3 on Pinterest, if you want to follow me, you can go ahead and see where I got my inspiration for, for this little baby here and pin it and um, make one yourself because it's so freaking fun. What I did was I... Got some old tin cans that, um, you know, some of them, okay, this might be beets that I had to empty because I was short a can. So, and, and then what you do is I painted all my cans up with gesso, if I pronounced that right, and then some black ink because I wasn't sure at the time exactly how I was going to cover it or what I was going to do. So all of the, these cans look like this first, and now they look like this is this not freaking cool and I bought a little turntable at Kmart it was like seven eight bucks you can probably get them cheaper but I was impatient and I couldn't wait and I had to have it because I had to get this project made so but anyway I sit it on my craft desk and I just spin it but it's so cool because these here are little mushroom cans and they're littler so I can put in my things that I like to grab a lot, like these clips. Believe it or not, these are something I think that we should all have at our desk to work because when, actually when I was making my project, I needed to hold this inside this paper here to have it glued down. So what I did was I just kind of pinned it and it helped me like those fingers, like you know how we need like two or three hands when we're crafting. These little puppies here really, really work great. So, um, they're in the shallow mushroom can, per se. So, I can just grab them anytime I need an extra set of fingers to help me hold something. So, um, anyway, this is what I made with Esmeralda's beautiful trims. And you can see here, this um, the lace underneath was not from Pro 31 Design Store, but this plastic or I'm not plastic but this little pearl trim here is from Pro 31 Designs and along with this look at this bling I love this I love it and then you may recognize this what I did here was um, this was a little thing I made for um, Pink Scrapper Boutique um, she had sent me a kit to work with and I had made this up and what this is you may be thinking why did she do that? Well, um, let's see if I can find a piece of paper without Maybe ripping something out of my husband's schoolwork Because he wouldn't like that too much But 
what this does here, and um, Carlene actually made one of these, and I got inspired to make this from her. But um, I glued this on here, hot glued this on here, so you can stick a picture in here as well. And see? You know, if you want to, you're working on something that you're inspired by, just, you know, you can stick it there and you can have it right in front of you. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, this black trim here is from Esmeralda's store. Isn't that beautiful? And then um, what you do here is this here. I just clipped it on. It was a paper clip. I kind of bent it a little bit because I'm always reaching for my Stampin' Up! tools. The weather, usually mostly this one. This one is my well, one I go to a lot. But um, these tools, I always have them hanging off of something. And usually by the time I rip them out of my other organizer, like half my pens or scissors fall out too. So this way, I put it on a little paper clip. And then when I want it, I can literally just kind of take it off. It's really that easy. And then it just clips right on here. And not only is it nice looking, it's very, very... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, it's very practical to use this. So, I'm going to spin it around some more. And this butterfly here I got as a birthday gift from my friend Kim, who is Rosebud15. I'll try to I'll try to type her link. I always say that, but then my videos upload at midnight and then I never get around to posting it but she's Rosebud on YouTube here so um, go check her out too and then I just used one of these little flowers and I got this at Joann's actually it kind of came like this I didn't do any altering or put to center in it it came like this but this is and oh oh oh, oh before I forget um, these clothespins also came from Pro 31 Designs and you know I basically put them in here because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. Although I love the looks of them. But they work perfect there and they kind of fill in. See the space there? It's just kind of nice because it fills in the space there and they look great. So there is my first project for Esmeralda at Pro 31 Designs. Please go check out her store. Um, she's fantastic. Great customer service. You will love it. And these trims are amazing. My favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because I have some more videos coming up. Thanks. Bye.